Okay, so after a request, here we've got a video of Ubuntu 14.04 running on a 40 pound tablet window, running Windows 10, currently running VirtualBox. Uh, so Ubuntu is just booted up, it took about three, four minutes to boot up. Uh, but as you can see, we're on the main first screen of Ubuntu when you boot up the live CD. So we go ahead and click, I'm using USB mouse with OTG cable. So we've just clicked try Ubuntu. Yeah, we did definitely click it. So I guess it's just going to take a couple of moments. Which is about the reflection there. So, are we actually going to get to the desktop? I haven't actually tried this yet. Oh, there we go. The first time I tried this, I tried it with, because this tablet's only got one gig of RAM. So there we go. So I tried it with uh, 768 meg of RAM, obviously using swap file, uh, and it really didn't like it. It just crashed, uh, made the whole tablet crash. Uh, it, was, it didn't crash so much, it was just unresponsive, where it just ran out of memory. Um, so I dropped it down to 512 meg of RAM, so we're currently running uh, with an emulated 512 meg of RAM. Uh, so it does look to be quite sluggish. Obviously I've clicked that half a dozen times and it hasn't disappeared yet. This tablet does only have one gig of RAM on board. I know you can get tablets that have got two gig of RAM. Uh, and you can get one of those from uh, link up in the, the description of this video. Uh, all running Windows 10. This tablet originally came with Windows 8.1, but I upgraded it to Windows 10, and that actually runs quite well. It does run out of memory sometimes. I do wish I had a tablet with two gig of RAM. It would be much better. Because obviously, with Windows running in the background, it and once you've launched a couple of apps, Google Chrome and stuff, you don't tend to have much memory left. So with two gig of RAM, you'd have that extra one gig to uh, use for background apps. Oh, so there we go. As you can see, that is quite sluggish. But this is obviously a 114.04 LTS, so it is just the default download. It's not the latest version of Ubuntu, but it's the default download when you go to ubuntu.com I could probably get this running a bit better with something like Ubuntu 12 or earlier maybe so as you can see that's quite choppy but let's try loading up Firefox Obviously you probably heard when I clicked the mouse then. I might have to try this with a slightly older version of Ubuntu. Or maybe install it and not have it running from ISO file, or possibly might make it run a little bit faster. This is only a 16 gig tablet as well, so this is running from a class 10 micro SD card. Oh, 
Now, in fact, it's not actually because it's just running from the ISO, so it's running from the inbuilt 16 gig storage. My my mistake, but yes, I have actually clicked on Firefox and it's still loading.